Yeah, I've been working nightly If you think you'll win, ha, not fucking likely I be taking shots, yeah, cold-blooded, icy Watching numbers grow is what I call sightseeing In the front row, run it up when they hype me The following grows, they know how to ignite me Call me CEO, I've been running shit right, see And I ain't playing games, I create my own lane Making pleasure out of pain, uh Turning losses into gains I'm the boss, I'm making change I've been rocking this exchange, uh Commissioner Larry Light with Director of Security Joe Rage. What happened to the greatest announced team in Southern West Virginia, Jonathan Stiles? This is Commissioner Larry Light. If you'd like to see the great TV stars of NWA Mountain State Wrestling come to your town, give us a call at area code 304-673-2054 or check us out on the web at mountainstatewrestling.com. Interesting tag team coming together, Justice and Juicer. One veteran, one rookie of Martin State Wrestling and reuniting after nine months, the Bunkhouse Boys. Big Willie Blackheart, fresh off of the, the buffet line at the Chinese buffet, I've been told. the start of the match here now, and the fans are extremely excited to see Justice back. That chisel physique of Justice, and Patrick Nicholas trying to get Juicer to be in the corner where he needs to be. And the tag made, oh no, the high five to start the match up. And it. And Juicer, collar elbow tie up here, and the power of a bandit, no match for the physique of justice. 
Listen to those fans cheer for justice, ladies and gentlemen. And now justice looks like he wants a piece of Big Willie Blackheart. Unbelievable fans. Unbelievable. I'm completely and totally shocked by Willie's behavior. Another color elbow tie up here. Patrick Nicholas trying to get both men out of the corner. And it looks like... Is it going to be a clean... No, of course not. What was I surprised to get to see a clean break from the bandit and a slap to the face? And now, Justice, mostly stunned with pride, is being, sitting there. And here comes Gift Garage to observe the match, ladies and gentlemen. Willie claiming they have fans, but Justice working on the arm of Big Willie Blackheart. Partner banded and tags in Juicer. And now Juicer going to work on that same arm that Justice was working to take apart. Side headlock by Juicer. Juicer moving around and another side headlock here. And a tag made. Oh, and Justice going to work on the midsection of Big Willie Blackheart, partner Bandit. Eric's about the rope, and it comes down, then Dust misses, and a big close line to Bandit. Fans, I gotta say, unfortunately, it's gonna take more to put away a former tag team champion like Bandit, and Justice has to learn that if he's going to be successful here in Mountain State Wrestling. Now the reversal by Bandit tags in Big Willie Blackheart. Oh. And Big Willie Blackheart is now going to work on the shoulder of of Justice. Justice trying to get the make the tag, but he has not been successful as of yet. Fans extremely excited to see Justice and trying to get him to get that motivation to get in that corner and get Juicer tagged into this match. And it looks like Justice Getting some strength, just pulling there. Bending the arm of Big Willie Blackheart. He could be breaking free. With Big Willie Blackheart trying to come back with strength of his own. And here comes Bandit going to the midsection and knocking Justice down. Big Willie Blackheart with that axe handle takes Justice down to the mat. And here comes Juicer, ladies and gentlemen. Bandit now in the ring. And Juicer calling for the tag unsuccessfully. Bandit going to work on the arm. Oh, just Juicer tagged in, ladies and gentlemen. But he tagged, and Patrick Nicholas was out of position to not see it, unfortunately. Now, for, this is one of those faults with Mountain State Wrestling having only the single referee in tag matches. And the fans. Clearly saw the tag, I saw the tag, you saw the tag, fans. But unfortunately, this was not one to be. Justice takes another tag, but Patrick Nicholas out of position again. And he doesn't see it. So, Justice is still stuck in there. Meanwhile, you got the team of Big Willie Blackheart and the Bandit. Just taking apart Justice, Patrick Nicholas. I can't believe how oblivious Patrick Nicholas is not to see the tag from the Bunkhouse Boys and not understand that they have a tag. But when it comes to Juicer coming in, he's just stuck on the outside. Five minutes has elapsed in the match. Ten minutes remaining. Juicer claiming he's made the tag numerous times to Patrick Nicholas. 
and been unsuccessful. And Juicer sucking land on the mat. Excuse me. Justice. Justice now trying to get something going. And Justice trying to find his way. Not in the wrong corner now. As they go to Blackheart. Juicer stuck out there, finally having enough coming in. And to attack Big Willie Blackheart. Oh, unbelievable. The winners of the match, the Funk House Boys. The Bug House Boys pull out a great victory here. I'm completely totally shocked. Patrick Nicholas has was been completely oblivious this match, whether it's been the missed tags, two juicer, or the fact that his shoulder was up. I've now taken my card. I don't even know who's next. I'm completely, totally oblivious. I can't believe that they stole my card. They stole my water. The Bunkhouse Boys are completely and totally despicable. Justice and Joseph clearly had this match won if it would have been to see the tag as well as the shoulder. Fans, don't go anywhere. Jonathan Styles flying solo. We'll be right back. This match is scheduled for one fall with a 15 minute time limit. First, from Main Street, USA, weighing 295 pounds, Frank the Tank Parker. Jonathan Styles flying solo this week as Jock Moliere is on assignment. We are seeing the return of Chris King to Mountain State Wrestling. An exciting match is guaranteed to take place when somebody like Chris King. And Frank the Tank Parker looking out for revenge from anybody claiming that he is the rightful heir to the Mountain State Heavyweight title that has been won by Strong. And, oh, looks like we're going to be joined this match by Scotty Rocker. There you are, sir. How are you, sir? So great to see you out here. Um, 
doing great. And I gotta tell you, we could do a whole hour just Usually on... I have people doing this for me, man. I don't have All right. I've I'm... got people, you know, I've got hired people to be on the wire. Yeah, we'll go and we'll put you right there, sir. We're testing, one, two. Okay. There you go. Congratulations. Yeah, don't worry. I'm not gonna get involved with this. I know everybody thinking I'm here to get involved with Tank's business, but uh, I'm just here to watch and, and commentate. Well, I gotta tell you, if it was me, I don't know how I would restrain myself being handcuffed and watching my fiance try to stop the beating yeah. that you were taking by Frank the Tank Parker a couple of weeks ago. Yeah, it, it was a very bizarre situation, and I really didn't know what hit me. I had to watch the tapes back, and uh, I was just, I was floored. I didn't understand it. I've tried to call Tank and get an answer. He doesn't return my calls. And, uh, it seems like he's really, he's really angry about something. And, uh, well, and I, just, I just don't understand. And he's been completely blindsided by this. I mean, I remember a while back it was supposed to be the best of seven series against you two. That yeah. went away. What a, what a storied career, or, or past we have together. Uh, you know, I thought we had it in the bag this time. We got the titles. We had a good run. I don't know who got in Tank's ear or what he heard or what he thinks. Uh, he won't return my calls. He won't talk to me. He's always blindsiding me. And it would do me no good to get in there and get involved because eight more people that he's got buddy buddy in the back would come out and jump me from behind with chairs again. So that does no good. We've already tried that route and it didn't work too good. Absolutely. Now Chris King in control here. This kid, Chris King, has got, the, got this under control. What, what great ability he's got, right? I, I can't believe the agility. I really thought the, the power of Frank the Tank Parker would have slammed him and just broke away by Chris yeah, King. Yeah, but you know what? Frank Parker's stupid. Frank Parker's an idiot, and this guy's smart, and he knows how to wrestle, and size isn't going to matter when you've got somebody who can out-wrestle you. That's a great point. And i got to tell you, Scotty. And, and look at here, he's, he's letting the fans get in his head. He's angry. Look at him. He's angry about something, well, and he won't talk to anybody. And all he claims is that the, the heavyweight title is his, and he's just been on some complete domination and complete focus on that, like you said. It's like he's become obsessed almost. Yeah, the look in his eyes is so different now than it was when we were champions. And now Chris King going in with a big clothesline. And it looks like there we go. That's what I'm talking about right there, staying on the man. Absolutely. And it, not only staying on the man, but staying on the same body part, which any good wrestler knows what you have to yes. do to gain the That's victory. The key. Staying focused. Absolutely. And now Frank the Tank Parker on one knee, unable This could to separate your shoulder. This move right here, this is a painful move. It pulls on what? Not only the biceps, the tricep area? Yeah, you got your rotator cuff in there. All these shoulder muscles and tendons. Ligament. Look at here. Uh oh. Uh oh. This is where the. Uh oh. Frank the Tank Parker. That's where it paid off. Just took one mistake. And now, but see, speaking of mistakes, look at the arrogance of Frank the Tank Parker not capitalizing on a down Chris King. You know, now looking back, there was a lot of signs that this, I could have seen this coming, but I just, I didn't really see it. I was so happy we were the champion. Finally got some gold. Somebody I thought I could count on. And it wasn't not the Boogie Woogie Man, Jimmy Vine, who sat down and brought you two back exactly. together? Exactly. I've called him. We've talked. He's tried to call Tank to get some answers. He says he won't return his calls either, and that's very bizarre because those two go back farther than me. And, and Tank will go. Five minutes has the last of the match. Five minutes. And that would shock me if there's anybody Frank is going to talk to about it. It's going to be Jimmy Vine. And now Frank, the ball shoots, came off the ball, close line, takes down Chris King. That will take your breath away, along with falling on your head. It makes you dizzy. Right, and, and now the arrogance of Frank Parker to not to capitalize again is, may give Chris King the upper hand he needs yes. to come back and he's win reaching, this match. He's reaching down. What you have to do. Unbelievable snap suplex by yeah, Frank the Tank Parker. A lot of people think that ring is soft. I, I'm here to tell you, it is not soft. It is not soft. Especially when it's coming on the receiving end from yeah. Frank the Tank Parker. Anybody that wants to try, get in there and let him 
throw you down like that. Get it soft. God bless you. And now, my man Clinton and see the shoulder of Chris King off the mat to break up the pin count. The fans trying to get Chris to get a little motivated. Now let me ask you, Scotty Rocker, besides the arrogance, is there anything that Chris King could look for as a weakness of Frank Parker's to get that upper hand back? Well, if everybody's been paying attention, Frank Parker has some uh, rib fractures that I don't think have completely healed yet. His doctors have tried to get him to quit wrestling and he won't. Uh, but yeah, I, I, break, I broke his ribs about a year ago and put him out. And I think that's where a lot of his anger is coming from. But it was just business. A lot of people say he's focused right now on the title. But watching him, I don't think he's focused. I think he's a madman. I agree, I agree completely, Scott. And now, the fans are trying to get Chris to go. And a big fight by Frank the Tank Parker. Oh! Frank Parker is 300 pounds, and for all that weight to fall on your face is not a fun thing to happen. Absolutely not. But the nonchalant cover that Frank the Tank Parker does there by not hooking the leg and pressing the shoulders to the mat is what keeps him from getting the victory over Chris King. I think you're absolutely right. If he was more focused like he used to be, he would have gotten that victory there, Scotty. Yeah, I agree. Chris King, into the Chris King is really putting up a good fight. But right there, outsmarting him once again. Chris King, oh, kicking him like in the kidney area, and now punches Irish whip. Oh, oh. big forearm to the throat. Oh, another one. This kid is on fire right now. Absolutely. Drop kick. Wow, huge drop. Wow. Trying to take Parker going to the I wonder outside. I he's got a license to fly. Oh. Oh, wow, wait a minute. What, what is, is Oh. Two. Ow. Frank the Tank Parker just ramming Chris King into that ring post. And going See to how he personally attacks people and tries to, tries to hurt them. It's not about wrestling to him. It's about hurting people and proving a, some kind of point. We don't even know what the point is. That he's tough? We know he's tough. Yeah. What's, what's his problem? And because of that, he wins the match. The winner of the match, Frank the Tank Parker. And I gotta tell you, Scotty, it is like he just wants to be. Yeah, I see you. I see a big guy. He thinks he's got something to prove, and I don't know what it is. I don't know. He won't talk to anybody. The only thing I, I, I know recently is that Frank Parker thinks that he's better than everybody. Come safe face to face, one on one. No. The man backs away. You have a great day. Our father, great to be with you. This is John Styles. You know, I may not get a chance to say it because everybody else is, but I want to wish you all a Merry Christmas early. Scotty Rocker just joined us. Don't go anywhere. We got our big mini bank coming up next. Hidden West Virginia, December 12th. Strong! Ooh la la! We're coming right back at you! NWA Mountain State Wrestling! The juice is loose, baby! Woo! Go ahead, Stro. Sunday, December 13th, 3 o'clock, Princeton, West Virginia! Stro's gonna do it! All day long, baby! And all of you ladies, wet those lips one time for Strozilla, because it's all the way live. Ooh la la! NWA Mountain State fans, look at me. December the 19th, Saturday night, Alderson, West Virginia. 22 miles where I grew up, about 25 miles where mom found him in a ditch. Carl, what are you looking at? Who's this? Did mom say you could keep him? Well, you want to go with us to Alderson on the 19th? How about? You cool with that? Oh, yeah. Quit sniffing him. You sure? Yeah. Okay. I'm sorry. You want some?
Welcome back, wrestling fans, to another great hour of Mountain State Wrestling. If you just joined us, you missed a great match with Frank the Tank Parker and Chris King. But if you haven't, you know that Scotty Rocker was out here to join me. And now we see a little camaraderie from Chad Cross and Juicer. Chad Cross in the ring last week as Juicer joined me for commentary. It looks like rather than teaming up, we're actually going to get a chance to see them wrestle each other here. Colorado tie up, and Juicer breaks completely clean from the corner. And Chad Cross trying to get the fans excited about this match. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children, it's showtime! Juicer claiming it's showtime. And We'll be able to see if it's still time against Jack Cross, who now is on the short end of the stick as Juicer goes to work on the arm of Chad Cross. Chad Cross reverses. And Juicer now down on the mat as Jack Cross has his arm completely wrapped up. Fans side trying to keep it clean, and Juicer, the side headlock, wrenching there. Jack Cross breaking free. Now, Gift Garage back again to watch his match. Jack Cross with a big shoulder tackle, and Juicer goes down. The juicer shows signs of respect here at the strength of Chad Cross. Another color elbow tie up here. And Chad Cross going to work. The juicer taking Juicer down to the mat. Looks like Chad Cross in complete control here. Juicer slings him down to the back. Juicer with the side headlock now going back to work on Chad Cross. And Juicer has Chad Cross down. Patrick Nicholas checking to see if there is a pin attempt there. And it looks like a pin attempt by Chad Cross. Everybody seems to be excited to see Chad Cross back in the ring. First time in two years of Mount State Wrestling. And Juicer takes Chad Cross down. And Chad Cross got his belt one a little bit there. Good job. Chad Cross, Juicer to the collar will tie up. Juicer going back to work. Now gets first upon Juicer. Gets suplexed by Chad Cross. And Chad Cross just keeping Juicer down on that mat. Going for the pin and attack again. Oh, I thought he had it there, ladies and gentlemen. Jews are trying to break free. Just a wait a minute. Just a slap cross down to the mat. And Chad Cross coming off the ropes and the elbow drop there. And Ch 
Bad cross. Now getting worked on by Juicer. As Juicer pulls on that chin, those shoulder muscles. Pulls back on the head of Chad Cross. Chad Cross saying, no, he's not going to submit. This pulling completely on the shoulder, trapezius muscles, the upper neck muscles, cutting off that circulation. Chad Cross trying to get something going there. And Joser now putting Chad Cross into the corner. Oh, shoulder tap. Oh. And Juicer in the corner now as Chad Cross goes to work on him. And Chad Cross with a big splash right over the home. Unbelievable, ladies and gentlemen. Five minutes has elapsed in the match. Five minutes. And in these five minutes, ladies and gentlemen, we have seen some of the best wrestling action out there. NWA Mountain State Wrestling, the best wrestling in Southern West Virginia today. You're not gonna see action like this anywhere else, ladies and gentlemen. Do not be fooled by imitation. And Chad Cross with a big clothesline. Chad Cross now. Picking Juicer up and tossing him around like a rag doll. Looks like he's gonna roll him up to the pen. But no! Six. Six. Six minutes has a lot in the match. Six minutes. And now Juicer going down. Chad Cross. Not being able to put away Juicer. Big slam by Chad Cross. Off the ropes, he comes. Huge leg drop to Juicer. And poor, Ch poor Chad Cross can't figure out what it's going to take to put away Juicer here, ladies and gentlemen. And Juicer trying to catch his breath. Chad Cross in the other corner. Fans pretty evenly matched up here on who they're supporting. Seven minutes has elapsed in the match. Seven minutes. And now Juicer has him in the side headlock. Oh, wait a minute, what is this? Team Ripley comes in. Garage just is taking a part juicer and Chad Cross. This is completely and totally horrible. What? And here comes Justice. Will Justice be served on Gift Garage? Absolutely. Yes, in the face. In the face. What? What is this? Ladies and gentlemen, Patrick Memphis has ruled this match a no contest. Are you kidding me? Justice now aligning himself with Gift Garage. A most despicable act. Juicer in complete and total shock. And now Gift Garage cleaning out the ring. I can't believe this. I am totally disgusted by this action. Gift Garage. I, I, horrible action. Just as I really thought had a brain, but he's been, but he's been manipulated by the naive King Richard. Brian Kyle, I can't believe Justice would do something like this. After uh, all.
I can't believe it. I'm shocked. I, I mean, I'm really beside myself. Just a few weeks ago, I'm talking to Justice in the locker room. He seems like a great guy. And then he goes and gets manipulated by King Richard and aligns himself with Gift Raj. Fans, don't go anywhere. Big six man main event tag coming up. You know what? For so long in NWA Mountain State, there's been a lack of talent, a lack of resource for talent. But you know what? Wait no longer. The gift draws is here. You know what? We're here for all your needs. Christmas is coming up. Kwanzaa. They don't cost a gift draws for nothing. Wrap me up, put me under the tree. You know what I mean? We're that good. But you know what? We're the best in NWA Mountain State today. And we're here to prove it. Tell them, Ricky. Listen up, skanks and inbreds. You don't need to prove it. I don't need to introduce myself. I'm the best in this business in Mountain State. I'm the reason you buy a ticket, the reason you tune into Fox every Sunday. But let me introduce you to this man. This is the muscle of the gift to Raj. We call him Justice. Get used to him. He's going to be around for a long, long time. Man tag. You see Stro and Carl and JC Knight Jr. all on the same page. I love it. And now Gift Garage teaming with Ricochet. Originally supposed to be a 
the Alaskan assassin, unable to get that fly out of Anchorage that he wanted. But who are we to say it's a downside, ladies and gentlemen? Starting off this match, we have J.C. Dice Jr. and Ricochet. Ricochet just slapping J.C. Dykes Jr. across the face and being cocky towards J.C. Dykes Jr. And now in the corner, let's see, will J.C. Dykes Jr. return the favor? Oh, absolutely! Well, yes, big kick to Ricochet. J.C. Dykes Jr. with a devastating headbutt. Dykes coming up, man! Back to the med section. And Dykes going to work on the arm of Ricochet, but Ricochet reverses. Unbelievable. And Dykes now picks up. Oh yes! Sling blade, here we come! And here we go! Tag made as Maestro comes into the ring and hip tosses JC Dice Jr. onto Ricochet and now rolls out we're on top of him. I tell you what, ladies and gentlemen, there's one man that needs to get his hands on Ricochet. It is Ryan Edmonds, simply the best. There is a match for the ages, ladies and gentlemen. Call Leonard Simmons, tell him you want to see that match put together. And now Ricochet in control, gets Carl over to the corner and tags in one half of Gift Garage to legit hit Brian Kyle. And Brian Kyle, looking like the purple people here are out there, those purple trunks. Whips Carl into the corner and close line. Unbelievable, ladies and gentlemen. Mike Bam really has his work cut out here tonight. And now Carl being placed on that top rope. Oh, and being put into the tree of wall position. Held there by Ricky Shane and King Richard is. Oh, what a kick to the mush. By another, by Brian Kyle. And man, I hope they're hitting the midsection there. Fans, I couldn't say it any better myself if I wanted to. Carl getting the shoulder up to break up the pin count. Oh. Now, Carl just kicking Ricky Shane, scoring the most. And Carl oh, takes him down. I call him Ricky Shane. You can call him King Richard if you want, ladies and gentlemen. In my book, he hasn't really earned that respect as the King of West Virginia Wrestling tags in the legit hit Brian Kyle. Frank Kyle coming off the rope. Oh, just continues to go to work on that midsection of Carl. gets tagged back into this match. Oh, drops the 
the elbow on Port Carl. And Carl now in no man's land, completely cut off from his body, just desperately trying anything to get out of there. Ties back in to King Richard. And he goes to work on the midsection using his shoulder and a hip. Of course, Carl, nowhere to be found right now. The lights are on, but nobody is home and bleeding from that upper left. Carl being taken apart and dismantled by King Richard. Now he's dead. Being forced to from the wrist by Mike Mayhem. And Carl's line takes both men down. And Paul trying to get the momentum of the fans. And it looks like he made the to point away, Ricochet does, but does he get the tag to his brother, J.C. Dykes Jr., one half of the defensive duo, and another elbow, elbow out to the midsection, knocking the wind out of Ricochet, and he goes up and down to the suplex. Ricochet down on that mat and gets, here comes Maestro now, ladies and gentlemen. And Maestro, trying to get the pin attempt on Ricochet. Really want to see Stro take apart Ricochet here. Just gonna work on that arm. But he's in the wrong corner now as Gift arrives. And Ricochet just begin to take apart Maestro. Shoulders to the midsection of the Maestro. Maestro picking him up. And an airplane spin, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, boy, for the takeoff. Okay. And it looks like a tag, ladies and gentlemen. And fans. We will have this back. Told by our production truck that there's only minutes left in this match. I am completely surprised. But this one could go on for a full hour all by itself. Fans trying to get Carl excited. Carl whipping with chain of King Richard as he likes to be called. Right on a mess. They're trying to say that there was a tag made. One, there comes Ricochet again. And Ricochet picks up Carl for the money. And down he goes. Ten minutes has elapsed in the match. Ten minutes. Now, Ricochet can play the Mike Mayhem. Up. All right. A tag. And me 
Meanwhile, if you haven't noticed, ladies and gentlemen, out here for this entire match, Justice, the new enforcer of Entourage, or Giftourage. Entourage, my favorite show. Unfortunately, these guys are infringing upon that wonderful name. Coming off the ropes and oh, just taking up Mark Carl. the ropes and breaks up that pin attack. Now King Richard. Uh -oh, with a big close fist to the head of Carl. Slapping Carl, cutting him off from being able to make the first tag to J.C. Dykes Jr. and Maestro. King Richard. King Richard up to his feet first. A call trying to get something going. And it looks like the new enforcer, Justice, for size of the tag. But here comes that maestro. Jesse Dice shoots and kicks him just as it has. The maestro just going, think, 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 the house out there. What should have been a disqualification for throwing him over the top rope. NWA rules clearly didn't make that. Mike Mayhem not really that knowledgeable on the NWA rules. And Ricochet trying to hold. Maestro thinking there's going to be somebody there, but I don't think so. Because he got Junior. And here comes the SBD. Ladies and gentlemen, the winners of the match, the team of Maestro, J.C. Dykes Jr. and Carl! What? The gift garage going to work. On J.C. Dykes Jr. Carl, and here comes the back house for us. What? Buckhouse boys. And now with the kendo stick going to work on Carl. And now on the JC Dice Jr. Justice Gifterage going to work on Strom. Mike Mayhem, where, where's Larry Light when you need him? Now 
taking a part that you guys are doing there. And Willie Blackheart going to work on Carl. Gift Rush completely disgusts me. Taking a part strong. Getting out of there. find a buffet and eat himself to death, ladies and gentlemen. I can't believe that. I cannot believe that. Well, it's been an amazing hour. Juicer crossing the line, going to Kip Garage, and now Visually Blackheart and the band of the Bunkhouse Boys together. As you can hear the fans trying to get Jason and Carl back to their feet, I'm Jonathan Stiles. This has been a great hour. We'll see you next week. Merry Christmas. Happy Hanukkah. And remember, that don't tickle here in Mountain State Wrestling. Saturday night, December 12th, Hinton, West Virginia. Frank Parker once again makes his presence felt. Doesn't matter to me who it is or where it is. December 12th just so happens to be in Hinton. That's fine. Frank Parker will be there. Make sure you are too. Sunday, December the 13th, Princeton, West Virginia, 3 p.m. bell time. Ladies and gentlemen, get all your beer cans down, put the chicken bones down, quit watching the NFL. Come on down to NWA Mountain State Wrestling, because I'll guarantee you, I'll shoulder tackle somebody, I'll clothesline somebody, I'll do more than them NFL boys, and I ain't no New Orleans Saint. December 19th, Alderson, West Virginia. The gift drops rolls into town. You know what? How many times do we have to go to these towns and show these idiots what talent really is? You know what I mean? Tell them, King. Because I'm sick of doing it. Listen, people. <clears throat> the gift of Raj is something you don't want to miss. We're the future of this business and the future of this company. We're the best thing since sliced bread, if you want to put it that way. So take your hard earned money and buy that ticket. Because you don't want to miss the gift of Raj. Oh yeah!